hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is steph and today i'm going to be sharing my oven baked tilapia recipe with you guys i'm so excited to share this recipe because the last time i shared my oven baked mackerel recipe the feedback was insane you guys were just so happy the comments are just amazing and some of you were asking that i share my tilapia recipe with you guys so here i am before we get into this video let us just look at this fish like oh my <laughs> Look at this tilapia. I see broken. Hey! Look, oh my god, it looks so good. I paired this tilap this tilapia with some um plantains, some sauteed onions and carrots, some pepper sauce. This was actually my favorite pepper sauce that I have ever made. I also had some fried yuca on the side because I was feeling very, very fat. But just look at it, it looks so good, right? Yep, we're going to be making this exact same fish, and I'm so 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 excited to share this recipe with you guys. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to be washing our fish. In case you didn't know, tilapia does have a very weird smell and if you don't wash your fish very well, that smell is going to tell on you. So what I'm using to wash my fish is some lemon juice. You can also use fresh squeezed lemons to wash your fish but I beg, I don't get time for the squeezed lemon and then the move seed them before I can the wash fish. I, I don't get that time but if you get that time, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be using some lemon juice and I'm also also using the brush and the reason why I'm using the brush is because um the brush can get into the places that my fingers cannot get into and that is going to help really 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 clean the fish I'm also going to be washing the mouth of the fish because just as you brush your teeth you also have to brush the teeth <laughs> you also have to brush the teeth of the fish and just really clean it very very well and I'm just going to wash it some more wash it wash it wash it wash it then I'm going to rinse it with cold water After washing my fish and rinsing it twice with cold water, I'm going to be using a paper towel to take off that excess water from the fish. And as you can see, my fish is looking very nice and clean out back. Then I'm going to be using the knife to put some cuts in the fish so that the season can really, really enter the fish. I mean, you know now, it's not Cameroonian fish if there's no cuts. I'm going to be putting about four to six cuts per side on the fish. After putting the cuts on the fish, I'm going to be prepping some maggi and salt because these are the first two ingredients that we are going to be putting in the fish. These are actually called our base ingredients. And the reason why I'm going to be putting just maggi and salt first is because it's going to give the fish a very nice, delicious, tasty taste. I'm telling you that eh, if you if you skip any step in this recipe, don't skip this step because this is what will make your fish stand out. This is that step that whoever are making that fish for good job. Look, you so tell you say I see <laughs> when I don't play when I use this step, okay. So I'm just going to season the fish with the maggi and salt, and I do this step before I prep my other ingredients. For our ingredients, we're going to be using some basil, aka cut manjo. I really love this spice. Then we're also going to be using some green onions. I think I have about four of them. Then we're going to be using one fourth a size of a large onions. I measure them for now. <laughs> then we're going to be using some pepper if you want it a little spicy. And then also some celery. Honestly, I prefer Chinese celery for this, but I cannot find Chinese celery, so it's okay. Then also some pepper and jangsa because it's not Cameroonian fish without pepper, pepper and jangsa. Honestly, I forgot my ginger and garlic. I didn't realize until when the fish was ready and it, was, it pained me. But I'm going to be cutting all the other spices. And then also for my cod manjo, I'm going to be doing it the way we do in Jaman Jama. I just cut and cut and when I reach that tanga pad, I just trash them. <laughs> For 
for this recipe we are actually going to be cooking our ingredients and that is why i am putting them in a pot shout out to tome cooks on instagram because that is who i learned this um, method from and then i'm also going to be adding some oil into the pot then i'm also going to be adding some water honestly from trying this method i believe that the water is optional because the spices are going to produce their own water down the line since they're vegetables well kind of vegetables and they already have their own water now i'm going to be cooking my ingredients on medium to low heat i cooked it for about seven minutes before checking it and honestly i wrote my way the commodity thing hey no play no play that means say hey the kitchen gonna make that <laughs> anyways after about eight minutes of cooking it i'm now going to blend it and let me put you guys onto this blender this blender is so good it can literally blend a score it can blend a stone you guys definitely should get this blender after blending my ingredients, I'm going to be putting it in a bowl. I'm not sure that I showed this, but I'm also going to be adding some maggi and salt just to make it taste. And then now I'm going to be seasoning my fish. This is the moment that we have all been waiting for. And this is honestly my favorite moment because the moment they just showed me, say, welcome, finish, no. <laughs> Make sure that the pan that you're using to season the fish is not the same pan that you're going to be using to broil the fish in because I made that same mistake and it ended up having so much water at the bottom. Anyways, as you can see, I'm using my fingers, I'm using a spoon and I'm also using a brush because this fish must get all the seasoning. This is what my fish is looking like after seasoning it and I'm going to let it sit for about 40 minutes. While my fish is sitting, I'm going to be prepping this um, spice. This is what I'm going to be using to um, rub my fish when it's in the oven this is the same spice i just added oil in it and this is what my fish is looking like after 40 minutes of resting ladies and gentlemen the hour has arrived <laughs> anyways we are going to be broiling our fish instead of baking so we are going to be broiling our fish on low heat this is what my fish looks like after broiling for about five minutes then i'm going to open the oven then i'm going to put that seasoning that i just showed you guys I don't know if you guys can see that excess water at the bottom but this is why I told you guys to use a different pan to broil the fish because all that water is because I used the same pan to season the fish and I also used it to broil the fish so make sure that you do not make the same mistake as me anyways I'm just going to rub the fish this fish is looking so good already yes. see mm, baby try fish will sweet so fish will look so see that fish sexy it's <laughs> And this is what the fish is looking like after about 10 minutes of broiling on the first side. After the first 8 minutes, I switched the broil from low to high and this is the result. See, when I see fish, I know some people they know they swallow spit already. When I take an easy, when I take an easy, when I don't chop, when I phone them, when I don't chop screen, palava fish, so langa people, when I go make my own fish. <laughs> but anyways, the fish is looking so, so good. And after this, I'm just going to be flipping the fish over. Oof, Jesus. Ay, baby. Ay. I mean, I saw that you make the fish so that you make the kind of fish. Anyway, so this is what the fish is looking like, and I'm going to be flipping it. Before flipping it, I took the other one out because I need space so I know one can broke my fish for you. I, I, I need enough space, and I'm going to be using these two spoons so that they can really give me support. And then this is what it's looking like. I've taken it back inside the oven. And when I take it back in the oven, I don't do low broil anymore. I now do high broil. And this is what it's looking like after putting it back in the oven. When I see something, when I see that season, when I see that fish makes when I see that season, I don't know why the fish for the corner, I know why I'm broiled, but no worry, you go broil because I go I go flip you bring out for this side, you go must broil, you go must brown like the other one. Anyway, so it took about 20 minutes for our fish to be ready, and this is what the fish is looking like, and this is the final result of the fish. Oh my god, see my tail and something. I will get some top anana for her snow. As I finish make the fish display and so I should not for floor. Open my two food and put the fish for me, though my food then. See, 
I chop sute. I almost. I chop sute, chop sute, then drink my anana. No, that's why I'm like. <laughs> As I said, bring the figure where they die. That means I don't even finish the fish. I keep the head because I'm like, I don't be need that at that moment. But this fish was so, so delicious. If you guys do decide to try out this recipe, please let me know what you guys think. And I really, really hope you guys like the recipe. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.